Hi, I'm John Ormsby, president of Dry Ease and Forest Store Products. And today what we're going to talk about is an exciting new product, the Dry Ease LGR 7000 XLI. The Dry Ease 7000 XLI is absolutely the best performing DMFIR market in the market today, certainly in the XL group and below, without question. So really when we talk about the fact that this product is unmatched in the industry, we're really talking about numbers. First of all, if you look at AHAM specifications, this product is 130 pints tested. Again, right there, unmatched in the marketplace. If you look at LGR uh, performance, 8020 for example, we're at least 40% better than the next best competitor. When it comes to the features and benefits of a product, we believe that it's important to also compare it with other products in the marketplace. And we can choose uh, any number of units to compare the 7,000 to. And what you'll find is, by far and away, in every single circumstance, the 7,000 comes out the clear winner. But today, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, con we'll compare it to a unit that a lot of people are familiar with, the R200 from by Phoenix. So what are some of the differences that, that, that are the, between the two units that provide the difference of performance? Well, for one, when you look at how the R200 was designed, you have the cool air uh, from the evaporator actually passing over the compressor, which actually warms it at a critical time, inhibiting its performance. When you look at our patent pending advanced crossflow technology, we do not mix the air like that whatsoever. So the air stays cold when it needs to stay cold, comes out warm when it should be warm. Again, optimizing performance. So let's talk a little bit further about uh, some of the other differences between the two products from a, uh, from a design standpoint. First of all, uh, the door itself, when you close it, I'm going to remove the cord here. When you actually close it, what you'll find are significant gaps all the way around the door, which, which actually what that means is that the